Hi class, so for this video we will continue with uh, reheat Rankine cycle in steam power plant with isentropic efficiency in your pump and your turbine. Alright, so now you have a problem that involves a steam power plant that operates on the reheat Rankine cycle. So upon you read that statement, you should know that you are dealing with your reheat rank kind so you can plot your TS diagram first so you are going to have two turbine one is the high pressure turbine and you are going to have the reheat part and comes into your low pressure turbine and this will be your low pressure and this will be your pump wood and the cycle will be like this this is your pump this is your boiler this is your high pressure turbine this is the reheating part and this is your low pressure turbine so if we can label this first which is one two three four five and six so when you have the reheat rank kind problem you need to make sure that going out from your low pressure turbine must be in the mixture region all right and then it says that it has work net power of 100 megawatt so given to you your w dot net is equal to 100 megawatt and it says here that steam enters the high pressure turbine at 20 megapascal. So this is your high pressure turbine, and the value here is 20 megapascal. And the temperature is 600 degrees C. So this is your temperature at 3. And then it says that. The low pressure turbine, which is here, are working at 1.4 megapascal and 500 degrees C. So if we project this constant pressure line over here, so this will be your 1.4 megapascal, and the temperature that you have here is actually 500. It is your D5. And then next it says that the steam then leaves the condenser. So this is the condenser. This is inlet to your condenser and this is the leaving of your condenser as a saturated liquid at pressure of 20 kPa. So when it says saturated liquid, the state one must be on point of this curve. And given to you, the pressure is 20 kPa. And then it carried on. You have the isentropic efficiency for both of your turbine and your pump. Which is in this case, when you have the isentropic efficiency of your turbine and your pump, meaning that your device is not working 100%. It has some losses due to irreversibility. And you can write that your efficiency of your high pressure turbine is equal to your isentropic efficiency of your low pressure turbine equal to isentropic of your pump, which is equal to 85%. And now your TS diagram will have some amendments where you take in the consideration of the isentropic efficiency here therefore you are going to have the actual value at the exit of your pump the actual value at the exit of your high pressure turbine and the actual value at the exit of your low pressure turbine so we will determine after that your total work of your turbine which is 
the work of your high pressure turbine plus with the work of your low pressure turbine so in this case your high pressure turbine will be in between state 3 and 4 but you are going to consider your 4a and for your low pressure turbine it is in between state 5 and your 6a next you will need to find the work of your pump which is in this case it is in between your state 1 and your state 2 and again when you have the isentropic efficiency over here you will need to make sure you are going to use the actual value so this will be your h2a minus your h1 and then c you need to find the thermal cycle efficiency which is you can make use of your work net over your qn and finally is to find your m dot where you make use of the w net given with w net that you obtain in here